get together, we could go right to the top, and surely everybody knows. In this final episode of Focusrite's Recording onto iPad series, we give you some recording tips and tricks to improve the quality of your music. If your guitar isn't an electroacoustic like the one we featured in this series, place your microphone around two to three inches from the 12th fret, like this. You can listen to the recording and move the microphone to suit your taste, but the 12th is a great place to start. Next up, make sure you have a fresh set of strings on before you record. They just sound better. Also, you need to make sure you tune the guitar all the time, before takes, in between takes, all the time. If you want to add MIDI or synth parts to the track at some point later, these would all gel harmoniously to the guitar and vocals if they are recorded strictly in tune. If you have an EQ for your electroacoustic, ensure the EQ is set to flat. It's really easy to increase and remove certain frequencies after you've recorded, but if you've removed them via the guitar's EQ first, they simply won't be there to boost afterwards. This is a non-destructive and safe way to record audio. Proximity to the mic is really important depending on what you want to achieve. Singing gently and closely to the mic and pop shield eliminates room ambience and results in an intimate and more direct recording. Singing loudly may require more distance from the mic to the mouth, but this can result in more of the ambience of the room being recorded and can sound quite echoey. You need to direct your singer as best as you can, depending on the nature of the song, which will ultimately result in a more fabulous sounding recording. So you've reached the end of the Focusrite series on recording music onto iPad. Thanks for watching.